I can't see. Yes, I know you can't see. Let me quickly turn on the light. Namumira. Me. Because the men that were held here, the women that were held in the male dun female dungeon, believe me, they were seen to be goods, or let's say commodities, and not human beings. Right. Door of no return. Uh, right at the top. You walk out of this door, forget about everything. And any time they went down these very stairs, oh. they never came back up. You know, Cape Coast Castle was built by the British. 1665. Cape Coast Castle, the youngest and the smallest of all these castles, happens to be the biggest slave castle in the whole of West Africa. Because the dungeons here held about 1,000. 500 African captives at the same time. Shirono Naibue. Palava Hall. Palava. Yeah. Just a minute. Dongi. Kyogi. So Palava Hall was a market in the castle mm. where Europeans were buying and selling gold, ivory. Spices, uh, African men and women in shackles and chains. They talk about. Yeah, mm. so they bring them here. This is where they sit, discuss the prices of the people. How much, like, the. Well, they were, some, they, were they buying the slaves? Yeah, I, I don't okay. know. Okay. I can't the imagine most, that. The right? most expensive slave will attract something like three guns. Three guns. Three guns, gunpowder, and some few whiskeys and smoking pipes and stuff like that. One, one slave. One slave. That is what you attract. Mm -hmm. Not money. Mm -hmm. But then when they sent them to the Americas, they sold them for hundreds of dollars. Only one person was staying up here. Mm. This is the governor's living room. Uh, yes. Living. This is the living room. Uh, <laughs> and this place has got nine windows on it. Yeah, nine, nine windows. windows, right. If you go to the governor's bedroom, he has got five windows on it. At the main entrance, there are two windows. All of them together, 16 windows for one person. Just enjoying this all by himself. So whoever that was staying here was staying here enjoying everything that comes with this place without thinking about the struggle of the African men in shackles and chains down there. Since the Europeans did not only come here to make money but also came to spread the gospel, they had to build a church in a castle. But in Cape Coast Castle, the church wasn't built just anywhere but rather on top of the male slave dungeons. But right at the entrance of it, the Europeans had a hole here, known as a spy hole, where they were checking on slaves from time to time. You can see there's a platform in there. You see the slaves down there. When we get inside, you see it clearly from there. Right. They check on the slaves, and that was easy, yeah. without coming into contact with even the slaves and the toilet and everything in there. Male slave dungeon.男の奴隷の収容場所力を失っていくあら暗いはい、じゃあ、次は次に行きます。じゃあ、次に行きます。奥へと向かう。光の届かない暗闇が広がっている。
That is the only source of light you can see in the male slave dungeon. Let me quickly turn on the light. This is the male slave dungeon. And the male slave dungeon was designed hmm. for about 1,000 African men. Starting from here, all the way to that end. 1,000? 1, 1,000 men with five rooms in it. Only here? Starting from here to that place, yes. The whole place took 1,000 men. <sighs> yes. Too many. So five rooms, it means mathematically each room uh -huh. was taking about 200 people. Right. So 200 people stay here. Here? 200. This space? Mathematically. Yeah. 200. 200 in the other room, 200 in the next, all the way to the last. But you know, the Europeans had wooden bucket placed in every room. The men were sleeping here, uh -huh. urinating here, going to toilet right here. Right here? Right here. That is why they had the wooden bucket placed here. A bucket? So if A you want bucket. to go to toilet, uh -huh. you have to go to toilet in the wooden bucket. How many days? That's they were staying in the dungeons for at least two weeks, two weeks, at most three months. From two weeks to three, three months. months. Here. And it depends on when the ships arrive. Right. If the ship doesn't come within four months, you'll still be here. Which country the, the most? But from Cape Coast Castle, right. these people were sent from here to places like Jamaica. Jamaica. Grenada, Grenada, Guyana, Guyana, Haiti, Haiti, Trinidad, Trinidad, well. talk of so like a British colony. Yes, yeah, British colony. Yeah, yeah. Tennessee, Tennessee, America, South Carolina, Mississippi, Georgia, and so many other places out there in so the United so States of America. So, 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 1,100万人以上で。And if you look up there, that is the hole I showed you at the entrance of the church on top of the dungeon. Ah. Yes. That is the hole I showed you on top of the dungeon. Yeah, I said, give me the... Uh, at the entrance of the church. Hi, hi. So right on this platform, uh -huh. there will be a soldier uh -huh. holding a lamp, checking on the slaves here. Hmm. Without coming into contact with the toilet, the urine and everything on the floor. Do they stay up here and check on the slaves? That was it. And you know what? Christianity and slave trade went on in all of these forts and castles along the coast of Africa for almost 400 years. And most of the churches that were built in the castles were built on top of dungeons. About 250 women were staying in here, mm -hmm. maximum. Suddenly, there's no hair at home. About 250 women were staying in here, too. So, 250, 250, both 500 oh, women. Man. The men were 1,000, mm -hmm. so you know, 1,500. But you know, sometimes. The Europeans would just come here for some of these African women and rip them. They pick some of the ladies. They take them out there. They wash them up with sea water because of the men's trap blood and everything on them. Then they'll fetch water from the water system, wash them up again, and they'll have sex with them by force. But sometimes they find some of the women pregnant. Pregnant, yeah. So what they do is they take them out of the castle. They have houses there. Oh. They take care of them. Yeah. They give birth. Then later they bring their children to the castle to educate them here. Yeah. Yes. So if you're a mother, you go out there to give birth, you don't come back to the dungeon. 
because you stay there and take care of your child. That does not mean those that were always pregnant in here were lucky. Mm. There are some of them that will be pregnant here, mm. but they will not find them pregnant here. They always find them pregnant on the slave ships. On the ah. ships, they were mostly throwing them into the sea. Because the men that were held here, the women that were held in the male dun female dungeon, believe me, they were seen to be goods, or let's say commodities, and not human beings. Right. <laughs> door of no return. Uh, right at the top. You walk out of this door, forget about everything. Wow. So you see the staircase here? Mm -hmm. This is the original stairs. Original? Original stairs. The slaves were going down the stairs in shackles and chains mm -hmm. and anytime they went down these very stairs oh. they never came back up and you know anytime they went down there the soil down there was the last african soil they ever touched in africa wow. yeah that was the last african soil they ever touched in africa <laughs> どんな思いで階段降りて船に乗ったんだろうね船に乗せられたんだろうね暗闇を出て待っていたのは帰らずの扉奴隷となった人々はこの扉をくぐりさらなる闇へと運ばれていった But you should know that all around the world slavery Mm -hmm. It's something that has not ended. Not ended, right. It's still going on. Still going on, yeah. And it's not something that is going down, it's always rising up. Yes. Which means we as humans, we are either not doing much about it, or we are rather encouraging it because of our selfish interests, or our love of money. Mm -hmm. And I know that on this door you might have said, wow, this is horrible. But my brother, have you tried anything to do something against slavery before? That is a big question. If you've never done it before, I just want to tell you that it's never too late for us right. to start now. Right, right. Because believe me, if we do that bit by bit, wherever we go all around the world, we can make this world become the most amazing place for me and you and our young ones that are also coming to also enjoy. I don't know what you really came here to do, but I'll say good luck. Mm -hmm. And if you're going back home, have a safe trip. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for coming. Midas. Thank you for coming. I think I'm going to get to the next one. 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 なんならアジア人も軽視されているところもあるしね。インターミンネーショナルにね、平等なはずなのにね。アフリカが抱える悲痛な歴史。そしてそれは今なお根絶されることなく世界に張り込っている。この世界に生まれた一人の人間として何
アイライフのアンデロイズザマバンド見に見るっていうのはやっぱ一個のね目的だったからねイギリスが連れてきた軍隊の演奏隊みたいなそのオーンとかが合わさってこのハイライフを生み出してこのガーナでまさに生まれてそれが西アフリカとかね広まってジャンルが生まれるっていうのはねその何かがミックスした時なんだよね新しいジャンルが生まれるっていうのはね。黒人の、まあ、今日まさに見てきた奴隷の歴史がなかったらじゃあアメリカでジャズも R&B もブルースも結局生まれてないわけだもんねだから俺らがいろんなこうねジャンルを聴いたり演奏してるのも。そのまあ、悲しい歴史とともにあるわけだもんな。いやー、まあ、いやちょっと今日いろいろ考えたな今までそういうねジャンルとジャンルがいろいろ混ざってあるいは文化と文化が混ざって新しい音楽が生まれてった。その歴史は間違いないわけですね。いやー、そういうのを作れたらいいな。でもそういうことなのかもね。本当に言ってないもの音楽っていうのは、そうやって世界中を旅して、いろんなジャンルを体に吸収して。周りとあらゆるもう雑多なその混ざり合いで新しいスタイルをやりたいんだろうな生み出したいんだろうなずっと多分その挑戦が続いていくんだろうね